Which shoe is better to hoop in? The Nike Kyrie 8 Infinity or the Adidas Harden Volume 6? Today we're putting the two newest models from Kyrie Irving and James Harden shoe lines head to head to see how they compare. But really quick, if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. But starting off with the box and the price, the Kyrie 8s get some Kyrie text inside of an oval pattern. And then in the middle, it's going to be either like a sideways 8 or an Infinity design. I think that, you know, they kind of go by either one at this point between Kyrie's like the Kyrie 8 and the Infinity model name. But as for the Harden 6s, you're going to have that HV.VI on the front for the Harden Volume 6 is what it stands for, along with some splotches just designed along that box. But as for the pricing, the Kyrie 8s are going to retail for $130, which is a nice price for an eighth signature shoe especially with nike and then the harden sixes are going to retail for 140 after undergoing a ten dollar price jump from last year but still going to be two pretty middle of the pack shoes as far as pricing i came back now getting on his guap i don't think about a pass now baby so long so doing a quick rundown for the appearance on these shoes and starting off with the colorways, today we're checking out the Nike Kyrie 8 Infinity Aluminum versus the Adidas Harden Volume 6 Mista Aqua. So before getting into the shoes, I did just want to bring up how, you know, Kyrie actually came out and said he didn't want anything to do with his upcoming shoe and just wasn't going to wear it, like he wasn't involved in that process. And this of course was a little while ago now, like back when the whole getting the vaccine or like sitting out controversy was kind of going on. But, you know, I guess Nike either made some changes or like some tweaks or was, there was just like some initial confusion because they did release he does wear them and i actually you know do like the design so looking at the shoe now this is a specific colorway that's going to get an hourglass design on the tongue and then it's also going to have a wavy heel design on the back side of the shoe that i think is a pretty clean look and then pretty much all of Kyrie's shoes in his line have kind of followed the same kind of mid-top structure aside from like the Kyrie 4 low and just you know some other shoes designed to be low specifically but the Kyrie 8 is going to resemble the 6 a little bit more than the 7 because these are going to get more of a curved midsole compared to like the shark tooth design that was on last year's Kyrie 7 but I mean yeah definitely a solid design in general I am a fan but now looking at the Harden volume 6 I do like that hardened patch at the bottom of the lacing setup. You're also going to have that blue lace right above them that's going to be running behind underneath the pull tab on the back of the shoe. And Adidas kept the Achilles pillows in Harden's line this year after having those thick pads along the sock liner in the Harden 5s. I mean, honestly, they might be even bigger on this model or just even more noticeable on the Harden 6s, but it's not uncomfortable or anything like that. And then you're also going to have some waves built into the midsole that I do like a ton more than like the flattened out design that the midsole had on the Harden 5s. I did think they made that design look a little bit bulky last year so I'm a, honestly I'm a bigger fan of both of these shoes compared to their previous models so now let's look at the materials and the performance side for these shoes and start off with the cushioning on the Kyrie 8. So it is pretty typical for Kyrie's basketball shoes to either have cushioning units in the front or in the back of the shoe but this year's Kyrie 8 Infinity is going to get it in both. And these are packed with just some more cushioning features and they just feel better than last year's Kyrie 7. They're going to have a generic zoom unit in the heel but in the forefoot you're going to have a zoom strobel setup that is just spring loaded. Like you can feel these compressed with every step and every jump and the cushioning feels really good coming down from jumps which just leads to really solid impact protection. And like I just said I wasn't really over the top on the Kyrie 7 for a few reasons cushioning was one of them but I do think that the Kyrie 8s are going to offer a more comfortable playing feel but now checking out the Hardens if you want to talk about a shoe line that had literally nowhere to go but up for comfort the Harden volume 5 from last year I just I just do not think that was a nice shoe to play in at all for more reasons than just the cushioning but the cushioning was definitely one of them and the Hardens aren't going to blow you away with this year's Harden 6 model being super soft but I mean the boost cushioning does feel a lot better in this year's model than it did last year and I know that you know the Harden 5s they did test out like that future natural process and it missed pretty big in my opinion but you know I'm mainly just happy that they did fix it on the Harden 6 and you know honestly both of these shoe lines did get softer for this cushion category which is definitely nice. For materials and support, the Kyrie 8s are going to use some textiles to make up the upper, and that helps keep the shoe lightweight and breathable. And then you're going to get some nicer materials around the back half of the shoe, kind of near the ankle. Like that black patch is going to be more of a leather feel. And like I was saying earlier, that's going to resemble the Kyrie 6 a little bit more than the Kyrie 7, which was just textiles covering the entire shoe from the front to the back. And the support is another nice spot for Kyrie 8's shoe for a few reasons. I mean, you know, the upper doesn't really give on any of your harsh movements, even though it is pretty thin. And then the black wings around like the lacing system, the laces actually feed through those and those black pieces act as a strap that runs behind your foot 
behind your ankle to kind of lock your foot into the design. And then you also have some that are gonna run forward around your toe. It just pulls your entire foot like into the shoe and it's kind of marked out where that blue line is on the toe box. So I thought that was a really cool portion whenever shoes kind of do that. But you know, now looking at the Harden Volume 6, the upper has a much different feel from the Harden Volume 5. Those were more of like a plastic casing feel. But I mean, the Harden 6, while it is going to be made out of textiles still, it definitely has a softer feel to the material. It's not suede on these overlays, but the Harden 6 upper is going to scuff a lot easier. I mean, just it's going to make it harder to keep these clean if that bothers you at all. And then, you know, similar to the Harden 5s, these are going to have those thicker Achilles pads along the inside of the sock liner. Those are going to be there for, you know, some added Achilles support. And that's also going to give some additional lockdown. So now looking at the support, I mean, this is definitely an area on his shoe line that they improved, you know, a lot. There was just way too much heel slippage and ankle movement on last year's model, but a lot of that was fixed here i mean the hardened six is going to have a great overlay that one of the laces feed through and you know tightening that does give you a more secure feel within the design honestly i do think that makes a big difference on this shoe because that's kind of the area that you were wiggling around in last year but i mean you're also going to have some overlays running along that midsole that will help keep your foot in the shoe too so i mean just overall the materials are fine with me but the support is definitely a spot that hardens line did take a step forward but you know these shoes aren't going to give you the same on court feel and a lot of that is going to be due to just like the weight difference between these models. The Kyrie 8 is only going to weigh 400 grams for a size 10 and a half, making them really light to play in and move around in. But the Harden Volume 6 is going to weigh 512 grams for the same size. So, I mean, that is a pretty wide gap between the two. And you can kind of feel that a little bit whenever you're going back and forth between these models. So to finish off with traction, Nike went away from the computer generated design on the Kyrie 8s. And these have a better setup, even though it is still technically a data driven design. They do look closer to a traditional herringbone setup after last year's Kyrie 7 was just a little too like, it was just too random for me. These do look pretty close to the Dame 7 traction pattern though that did play well for me whenever I used that model. So the outsole is gonna also extend out a little bit from the inner portion. You can kind of see the break where that lightning bolt design is. It's a little bit further pressed into the shoe. But I also bought a pair of these with an XDR outsole, which is just some more durable rubber. So, you know, that should be nice over time. But the traction isn't gonna be super special on these, but it's still gonna play nice. And then now looking at the Harden 6, I mean, traction was the weakest point on last year's shoe. I mean, between that and the cushioning both, but Adidas did switch up the pattern and went with that herringbone setup and these took a big step forward like you actually do have some grip to play with now instead of just like ice skating around on the court like i'm sorry like the harden five was just like not playable for me at all so i mean the harden six it definitely got better it's not going to be a super sticky shoe still but it is noticeably better but to finish off with sizing i went true to size on both of these models the Kyrie 8s are pretty much perfect they're good on length maybe a little bit narrow the harden sixes i mean they are going to run big just like his previous model so i would go at least a half size down for length the width is pretty normal though hey, you can't play a player baby that's just how the game goes so for the final rating and starting off with the appearance i haven't loved the look for harden's line ever since the force but you know i actually do like this year's Kyrie 8 design so i'm going to start off going there but cushioning i mean both of these models are better than their previous year the Kyrie 8 has that nice cushioning in the forefoot and the harden 6 is just like all around softer but neither shoe really blows me away so i am going to go with the tie here even though i am a little bit tempted to go with the Kyrie 8 but for the materials i mean neither shoe is going to get anything crazy but the Kyrie 8s do have you know some lighter stuff being used it just makes it easier to move around in and and, you know, also less scuffing on that design. So I'm going to go with the carry eights for that section. But, you know, as for the support, I mean, the Harden 6 made a huge improvement here. Kyrie's line has always been solid for support. You do have some straps kind of running along the back, kind of around the heel to kind of help you stay within the, the design. So I'll just stick with the tie here too. And then to finish off with traction, a tie is a good place to finish this off. It's not going to be the selling point on either of these shoes for that traction, but it's definitely going to be playable on both. So for me, I am going to go with the Kyrie 8 as the better shoe to hoop in. It's not going to be by a wide, wide margin definitely not as wide as like you know if it was the Harden 5 comparing it but I actually do think that this year's Harden 6 model did improve but with the Kyrie 8s being you know lighter to move around in that does help me feel better about it and also the lockdown is pretty solid too the Harden 6s I mean if they can get a little bit lighter and just keep on working on the traction it will be a little bit closer it's not like it's a far competition though anyways right now I mean sometimes it's just going to come down to like your preference and just what you prioritize in a basketball shoe so if you're interested in buying one or both of these shoes and you want to support our channel, we do have an affiliate link in the description that gives us a little commission that just goes back into reviewing more shoes. So feel free to check that out. And then if you also want to submit a request for like a versus video, just check out the link in the description below. But that's going to wrap up this performance comparison. Until next review, I'm Landon from Shoe Break.
Peace. Oh. You can't play a player, baby. That's just how the game goes. All I'm focused on is winning.